should Microsoft be forcing you on to Windows 10? Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is I've got a annoyance, and I think that's the polite way of putting it. I bought a HP laptop. Um, now, the frustrating thing is I needed to do something on it recently that involved uh, using a Ubuntu system. Um, well, it's, it's a Linux-based system. It wasn't the Ubuntu. Um, but the HP laptop was actually set up with... A, it utilised all my um, partitions because Windows will only recognise four, and it created four. Did it need four? I don't think so. I think I only needed two, but they did it on purpose, uh, in my opinion. But then it gets worse because I, Windows 10 is extremely bloated. There is so much rubbish on there. Um, plus there's a lot of intrusive stuff that Microsoft have added. I think they've gone down the route of Android where you start to get these updates that sort of remove your rights because you, you read it the first time around, but after six updates, you sort of go, can't bother to read this and just click through. Um, because... Obviously, they're trying to gain access to your information. Those are okay. Um, I don't want it. You know, I've got a Android phone where I use that because I don't keep anything secure on it. I do not want people getting access to information on my laptop. Um, that's why I have the laptop separate from my phone. My phone gets all that junk. My phone has the tracking and other bits and pieces on it but I don't want it on my laptop as well now the problem I got is I thought I'm, I want Windows 10 off this HP crap because the laptop isn't suitable for it, it's too slow um, how could I do it? The answer is no why? because although the partitions had changed the next problem was they didn't make any drivers for anything but Windows 10 so you can't update the drivers. Um, I could have spent probably a couple of days trying to find some generic ones to work. But should you be going through all this? Just to use a operating system um, that didn't has more stuff on it than you'll actually need. Well, it's got a lot of stuff that you will never need. Um, the whole app nonsense. Apps are drop-down menus. That's what I need. I don't need all these pretty pictures um, that is designed for smartphones, etc. It's a computer. It's a laptop. It is not a smartphone. Um, and I don't like the way they've tried to force people on it. Which my next attempt <laughs> will be to actually create Ubuntu on it and just ditch Microsoft completely. And I'll be honest with you, I will not be buying another HP laptop. Um, it's too sluggish for the Windows 10 for a start um, but on top of that it's very dirty to not even let you get anything else on there that's very bad because uh, I've got Windows 7 licensing anyway and I was quite happy to just put Windows 7 on because it's much much faster also it's already gone through all the headaches of the patching that goes with having a Windows operating system um, it was already stable, etc. Or even XP, XP. Although it's not supported by Microsoft anymore, I don't really care. Um, th this is the joke with security flaws, you see. The security flaws that I'm interested in, interested in are more to do with theft of my information. Yet we find we're being given an operating system that is stealing information. <laughs> so... What's the point? You know, the um, poacher becomes gamekeeper or game keeper, gamekeeper becomes poacher. Whichever way you look at it, they're both after your information. And it's not paranoia. It's more to do with the fact that you bought the laptop, you bought the um, operating system, even if it's a knockdown price, and this all Windows 10 free, there is no such thing as free in life. Um, there is always somebody that needs paying somewhere. And your information will be the thing they're after. 
but I do not like the way this has been set up to exploit the fact that you've got a laptop at home now and it will use nothing else but Windows 10. Was that written anywhere? I didn't see it. All you get is comes with Windows 10, not we don't support anything else and we don't actually write any drivers for other versions. Um, they forced you into it. Um, and I think that's very dirty, dirty tactics. Frustrating as well, because I don't like Windows 10. I really don't. There's so much junk on there, even the menu system. If it had a Windows 7 layout and then they put the crap behind it like they did with Windows 8 and just stabilized it, I'd be happy with that. But I really did not. I don't need all this all move your finger around stuff. It doesn't. That's not what my laptop's for. And I can understand that the market is moving that way. But does not say that there's a problem when everybody's doing this instead of actually utilizing things like typing because grammar has become worse over the years because of people not writing anymore uh so this handwriting has become worse no doubt um yeah here we are we're now not even writing on the old keyboard we're going voice we're going um predictive text um and that's another whole other story but yeah not a fan of windows 10 not a fan of the way that people are being forced onto it and i certainly don't agree with it and like it says android does enough intrusive stuff i really do not want this on my laptop so ubuntu will give you a try this week thanks for watching